Welcome back. We're heading to our correspondent, uh, Olu Phillips, who has been keeping tabs on the developments in Lekki. Well, yes, indeed, some governors did visit there recently, but uh, Olu brings us up to speed on what is the mood at this moment. Hello, Olu. Ah, uh, Chamberlain, good morning. Uh, it's the first work week, work day of the week, and it, it's a bit nostalgia standing right here at what you can describe as uh, Nigeria's fashion of the Azusa Street. Uh, a bit to my left, you can see vehicles, uh, first set of vehicles approaching, and uh, with some kind of skepticisms we can see on their faces. Earlier, I spoke to some of them, and they were like, they're not sure. There's still this palpable fear or palpable I'm thinking around, um, or caution around driving around this area. Uh, somewhere to my right, we still have security officers um, keeping vigil and keeping watch of this environment. Remember, this was the, the grounds where all of those proclamations were made, all of those demands were made. And it will go down in history also, um, Chamberlain, whether we like it or not, that on this ground, a demand was made for F45, calling for the end and scrapping of SARS, the federal government listened, and that unit of the police um, department uh, see, uh, uh, was scrapped and replaced. And all of the things that the federal government has tried to put in place as a result of that, that, that campaign here. Um, Lagos state government also, like every other, and some other state government have also set up judicial uh, panel of inquiry. All of that is um, derived from the activity that happened here. While there, were still, while there must still be controversies as regards... Um, the outcome of the shootings and all of that was there a shooting where, where there are I mean, I mean, uh, soldiers here who shot and all of that. The truth again is that the look, the Lucky Toll Plaza, we go down in history as a place where young people sat out day in, day out for more than 10, 12 days, chanting, singing the national anthem and singing solidarity songs uh, from which the whole world had, had them. And um, all of that now is history. All right, then, uh, Olu Phillips, we thank you for your reporting, but we'll also keep tabs and get more updates as we progress.